Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I talk about all these things in, of, in fairness to help my country in objectivity. And sometimes, yes, I will not agree with you. Sometimes I will agree with you. The issue is that with me, when I'm speaking for you, you are happy with me. Especially those in politics. You come, you even say, ah, now you are, now you are a good politician. Now you are offering good checks and balances. Hey? Now you are offering good checks. And... I just had a phone call a few minutes ago before I started the program. And somebody was telling me, ah, now you are doing very well. Now you are offering checks and balances because I'm not hammering PF. I'm not hammering UPND. And those in PF now, eh, now you are a, 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 a mouth for hire. You have been hired and whatever, whatever, whatever. And frankly speaking, this is, this is, this is below, this is below the belt. This is below the belt accusing us when we don't agree with you when we speak what you don't like you accuse us of being paid when we speak for you how much do you pay us when i was speaking for pf how much did you pay me how much did you pay me when i was speaking for pf how much did you pay me because at least you should be able to say no we hired him we hired him we used to pay him this, this much. We paid him this much. That's why he said this, this, this. Whoever hired me to say, I want you to talk about this, 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 and here is the money. No. Whoever does that. And I am now out and I'm, I'm actually complaining. One of my complaints is that the PF, they are not even releasing, particularly by Ed Galungu. They are not releasing even the basics to run certain operations because the fact is that even this talking that I'm doing here I am sweating here in their womba. I am spending money and whatever I'm saying is benefiting somebody and if there is somebody who is reasonable would actually say thank you very much for what you are doing what I'm talking about I've spoken about a number of things I've spoken about UTH and what and what if somebody says some, no, what you said is good. Here is, here is something to say. Thank you for what you said. That is an encouragement. But is that a hire? Does it mean that I've been hired? What, what I've said is coming from my conviction. It's coming from my conviction. It is like what I was talking about with the, my brother until, uh, who died uh, the other day. And he'll be buried, I think, after tomorrow. And some people were saying, oh, Ntewewe, Ntewewe was too much, what, 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 what. I mean, Ntewewe was an advocate who advocated based on what he thought or how he saw things. Whether that was right or wrong, that is another issue. That is another issue. That is another debate for another day. And it's the same thing with me. I may say things here, you may not agree with it. But by the fact that I'm, I don't agree with it, does it mean that somebody else has paid me? Whenever I don't agree with you, then I've been paid. When I agree with you, then I'm a good politician. Then I'm objective. No, you should stick one side. You want me to agree with PF all the time? You want me to agree with UPND all the time? You want me to agree with socialists all the time? No. It won't happen. It won't happen. It won't happen. To start with, Hello? I haven't started the program and don't call me directly. I always talk about this. Please, 
Don't call direct. I take calls on WhatsApp, not direct. And I haven't opened the phone lines. So if I don't agree with you, why do you always accuse us of being paid? And Sia One now, because Sia One did not come, did not, did not talk. A lot of people are excited. Sia One is going to talk. Sia One is going to talk. Sia One is going to destroy UPND. And he didn't show up. I hold Sia One responsible for not showing up. He excited a number of people that he was going to talk. A number of people were excited. Even myself, I wanted to talk. I wanted to watch him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Uh, but he just never showed up. That is not right. Sia One, that is not right. You don't do that. when you. I mean, you should be a man of your word, like I know you. When you make a public announcement like that one, come out, tell people. If something changes, give them an excuse. You can't treat people like that, Sia One. What you did, you know, to just go quiet on people, that was not good. But so far, we don't know why Sia One did not come live as he promised. We don't know. But people are now busy. Hey, hey Atishan, uh, who is this guy? At uh, Chrissy, eh? this guy that they call the Kaiser Zulu of whatever. Hey, Chrissy paid him. Hey, what, whatever, whatever. I mean, what proof do you have that he was paid? What proof do you have? Do you really think it is that easy to to, to, to send money to CR1 and whatever, whatever? Do you think it's really that easy? Why do you always rush to say people have been paid when you yourselves, you have not paid anyone? When you yourself, you have not paid anyone, why do you always rush to accuse us of being paid when you yourselves, you have not paid us? CR1 did not come. But I don't think it is fair for you to start saying CR1 has been paid. No. Maybe it is just that he has realized, like me, that, you know, talking so much against Haka in the Ichinema is not productive at this point. Frankly speaking, talking so much against the, the UPND government is counterproductive. At this moment, me have realized that it's counterproductive. Why do I say it's counterproductive? Because really, at the moment, we don't have a government that can come in and handle the economy in the manner that we want. It, it's not at the moment. So maybe Sia One, as much as he's frustrated, equally myself, I am frustrated by certain things. I am frustrated, for example, that mining companies in this country are not paying the right tax. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated by the fact that this government is talking about CDF, 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 and yet that CDF has not made an impact in the lives of Zambians. I am frustrated by this government is not really empowering citizens accordingly by giving them contracts, by paying them on time. I am frustrated. I am frustrated by the fact that this government thinks that, you know, the, 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 the high prices of Minimil can be controlled by offloading maize from uh, ZNS. Because I know ZNS cannot feed this country. It can't. They don't have the capacity. They don't have the capacity. They don't have the capacity to feed the whole country. They don't have the capacity. I'm frustrated by that. I'm frustrated that this government, so far, they are quiet on the minimum wage. They are quiet. The minimum wage has been revised, but they are not saying anything. They are not sensitizing people. I'm frustrated about that. So, I am frustrated by a number of things, by this government. But as I'm frustrated, when I look at what is the alternative, what is the alternative? I'm a president of a political party. And one day I'm going to rule. But so far, I'm still behind. I need a lot more to grow politically, financially. I need experience. I need more. I need more time. And other political parties, they are not so different. They may be a little bit different from economic and equity party. They may have a little bit more money. But surely even them, they are still in their infancy 
before they can walk and run government. The PF who were in government, who have got the experience, they are embroidered in a leadership wrangles. PF is actually going down. PF is going down. You call me here and you complain. Hey, why are you talking about PF? Hey, don't talk about your fellow opposition. No. We politicians are free to talk about each other. To talk about any other political party. We are free. We are free. So don't tell me why talk about uh, your fellow opposition. No, I'm not PF. I'm not PF. And yes, I want a party that is strong. A party that will, that will help us to offer checks and balances. And the PF is supposed to be leading us. And yet PF is doing very bad. He's doing very bad. And why is PF doing very bad? He's doing very bad because of Vahed Galung. It's because of Vahed Galung. Vahed Galung is killing PF. And you are PF. You better look at reality as it is. Look at reality as it is. You can pretend all you want. But tell me. Do you think your party, ever since Sata died and Edgar Lungu took over, are you telling me your party has increased or it has gone down? PF has gone down from the time that my Edgar Lungu took over. Yes, we won elections and I'm saying we won because I supported PF. We won elections in 2015. We won elections in 2015. But by how many numbers? How many numbers? In 2016, we won election. But by how many numbers? What were the numbers? How was PF performance? Can you really say PF has been going up? No, it hasn't been going up. It hasn't been going up. UPND increased the number of uh, MPs in 2016 general elections. And in 2021, subsequently, PF lost power. And since they lost power, they had more numbers in, in, at all levels. At, at local level, at parliamentary level, they had more numbers. But now those numbers have depleted, they have reduced. And they keep reducing. We have by-elections, we don't have a situation whereby now when you have a by-election, you can never be sure who is going to win the by-election. Even in the UP, in the in the PF strongholds, you can be sure. And HH was right one time at a press conference. He said, "There is no strong. There is nothing like such as a, a stronghold for PF. There is no stronghold for PF now." And it is true, because PF is losing seats in the strongholds. He's losing seats in the strongholds. PF is going down. PF is going down. What will he wonder? What will he win? Under the hands of Vahed Galung. Vahed Galung is still the president of PF. He's still the president of PF. Given Lubinda, Alefide Chanyongoro, given Lubinda, Bamu Vikrefe, Amala Yambushi Mumukoshi. And he's trying. He's really trying. Given Lubinda, he's actually trying. I only wish he was a substantive president. He would have moved things. But as it is, he's just, a, you know, he's just a, 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 a frontage. He's just a frontage. He's not the real thing. He's not the real deal. So as much as he tries, he's not the real deal. Given when he doesn't walk with that confidence that he's the leader of PF, he's not. The leader of PF is Edgar Lungu. And that leadership is sitting on it in his house at Ibex. The leadership of PF is, is in Edgar Lungu's hands. And Edgar Lungu has buried it. Like that person in the Bible, you know, who have been given a talent and he, he hides it under the ground. That's what Edgar Lungu has done. He has got the leadership of PF, but he's hiding it. He has buried it. And he's not, he himself is not using it. Given Lubinda is not using it. No one is using it. And yet PF is going down. You may not like me. You may call me whatever names. But the reality is just 
what I'm telling you, that PF is going down. Don't be cheated that because of a high prices of midi meal and what and what and what and that's it. PF is doing good. No. PF cannot be measured to be doing good by the failures of the UPND. You cannot talk about the success of PF by the failures of the UPND. UPND can be failing on its own. And indeed, they are failing on a number of issues. But that does not mean that PF is doing good. No. And it is actually political naivety to think that PF can come and contest an election and win an election just because UPND has increased the commodity prices. And they are failing to articulate their policies, what they are doing to address these challenges. You can't say they are going to win an election. PF cannot win an election today. Why me now to have my elections? PF cannot win an election today. They can't. They can't. Why me? Kavalungu be ne kavalungu. Why me now? You cannot win an election. Mungu fikshe le lo. We call for early elections. Kavalungu why me now? PF cannot win an election. Because remember, I've been saying this. That people vote, but there are other people give power. Other people vote, but other people give power. You can amass a number of votes, but those who give power, if they are not ready to give you power, you will not have that power. But if those who give power, they want to give you power, they can give you power even without votes. Even without votes. I don't want to give examples that are not very good, but you will be able to see it. That if those who give power, if they decide, even me, if they decide to give me power, those who give powers, if they decide to give me power, tomorrow I can be president. I can be president. Even if I don't want, I'm saying, no, I don't want it. No, I want to grow, whatever, whatever. If those people who give power, they decide that it is true, I will be president tomorrow. Even if people have not voted, with no person casting a vote, I can be president. So, basically what I'm telling you is that it takes more than commodity prices or the failures of a ruling party for another party to come in. It takes more. Don't be cheated. Don't be cheated. And don't hate me for telling you the truth. Valungu is killing PF. He is killing PF because he has held leadership and sat on it. Now we can it up. leadership here PF. Now we can it up. No one has power in PF. We no one has power. The one who has power is Edgar Lungu. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondu. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.